this and roll it up. This will, we'll make it work. Okay. Into the boat. Jack. It's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I only did that because on the other end I don't know what my measurement was. Otherwise, I could have just rolled it out to the perfect spot. Now it has happened a little bit smoother. After the joint is cleaned and prepped, the area is wet out with some freshly mixed epoxy. And then after that, I go back and I mix up another batch of epoxy and add in my filler, which I believe this time is West Systems 404 and 406. Um, so I, I actually could have done this better. I ended up applying it with a, a, a wooden popsicle stick and just smearing into the joint and, and trying to fill it out. Um, what I should have done now that I, I'm looking back on it is just filled up a plastic bag, cut the corner. Um, it would have made it an easy applicator for getting it into that joint and then going back over the popsicle stick, popsicle stick to, to smooth it out and give it a nice, a nice taper, nice radius. Um, but anyway, the, uh, it ended up working out for me. Um, so, and then following up, I go back over and I wet out my... So I measure the length that I needed. I mark it with a Sharpie on the side of the hole and I go back out and it was actually the width of that table that I was using. So I go back out, I cut my, my fiberglass tape, I wet it out, roll it up, go back in place and then I can roll it out on the side of the hole um, and then slowly work out the air bubbles. It took a lot of time, um, a lot of trial and error, a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of learning going on here. Um, hopefully you guys looking over this can kind of see my methods and see what you might do differently. Uh, maybe some techniques that I do you, you like to use, maybe some things you'd like to change. 
Um, I definitely went epoxy heavy, as you see with a lot of drips. Um, so that that's a learning curve for me, and partially because I, I did want to make sure that I had enough epoxy and I had no dry areas, uh, but I definitely went a little bit excessive. Um, if you have a nice interior or a nice area that you that you're working with and you don't want epoxy all over the place, you can definitely be more careful. For me, um, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm a little messy, a little sloppy, um, at least with and in terms of drippage of the epoxy, um, but everything's gonna get sanded down and and primed and painted and all that. Um, so this has been a long drawn out project. Um, at this point, I have finished the interior as well as most of the exterior joint. That'll be a second video. Um, and then now I'm actually taking a break from fiberglass work, doing a lot of other prep work with the boat just to, just to take a break from that. And so you can see that I'm doing this in sections. Um, that's as big as I would have wanted to go between um, cure time of the epoxy. So I'm using slow hardener. Um, and then uh, I think back then, this is a couple months ago. So when I was applying it, we're probably in, in the 80s, I would say. I would I would guess that was the temperature. So um, you don't want to do too much as at once. Um, actually, on the outside, I tried to do the whole length of the boat and it ended up curing on me mid uh, mid application. I had to grind it all back out and it was, that was a nightmare. So smaller sections definitely is a better option. And then when I go back in, I overlap each piece by at least a couple of inches. Um, and you can see there that I've that I also added the reinforcement patches and the chain plates. That I, I don't know if that was really necessary. I just wanted to add some some extra um, strength and 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 reinforcement in that area. I will say I'm beyond thankful that this project at least the hold deck joint is essentially finished. Um, what an absolute nightmare, but what a huge obstacle to get out of the way. Um, it definitely makes the other, other projects seem a little more, a little more reasonable. Um, I spent an unfathomable amount of time on this. It was just, um, it wore me down quite a bit. And then after I had done all the hold deck joint projects, um, I took an extended break from boat repair, as you see, um, that I haven't posted any updates or videos recently. I've had a lot going on. I started a new job. I'm um, looking into buying a house with a two-car garage to to make a better workshop area for the boat right now where I'm living. Uh, it's a nice little piece of land, um, but uh, shop-wise, my, my garage is basically under my carport. There's stuff all over the place. Um, I need a better working environment, so... Um, that's been a factor as well and not wanting to finish this project is just not having the appropriate workspace. Okay, let's go over this project real quick. The hold a deck joint on the inside of the boat. I have laid up uh, four inch wide 1708 biaxial tape with West System epoxy. From bow all the way to stern, way down in the depths of the darkness of this tunnel of misery. Alright, and I ended up uh, just laying over a reinforcement over where the chain plate goes. Um, no particular reason, I just thought it'd be kind of nice to stiffen up that area. And port side, 
Same thing. Um, I did mix up uh, adhesive filler with the epoxy to apply a fillet in, in between the, basically in the flange there, between in the hole of the deck joint. Um, so I filled in that gap, and you can see it, you can see it through the fiberglass here, and then lay it up over it all the way to, um, all the way to the transom. I, I'm on either side, I'm on maybe about four inches on the transom. So, um, and another reinforcement over here. Not bad. Uh, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it took a long time, and now I need to go and do the outside of the whole deck joint. Um, the flange needs quite a bit of, of repair. Um, I had planned on laying up the same 4-inch wide 1708 tape all along the outside after, you know, grinding it down and shaping it, getting it ready for the fiberglass. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. I think I'm going to kind of think about it. Uh, for a day or two, maybe maybe get some opinions, um, or maybe even use a different type of tape. Maybe just name a 17 ounce biaxial tape without the the, the matte layer, um, just to save on fiberglass because because this is really resin hungry. Uh, a lot of these drips here are for me using acetone, um, but there's also um, um, some epoxy dripping down. Um, as I had gone along, I, I ended up learning that I was using too much and. As we go back, there's there's less less drippage, so um, still a lot of work to be done. But this is this is a major major task off the list, so definitely feels pretty good. Um, I did have the day off today. I had I had finished this up yesterday, um, but I just had spent so much time this week on on this joint. Uh, yeah, I just wanted a little bit of break, although here's the evening and now I feel like I should maybe do something. So, um, I don't know, I'll just look over some stuff and kind of think about what I'm going to do next here. So, 